So we're, we're going to be talking about Rosai-Dorfman syndrome, which is an eponym for sinus histiocytosis, which kind of tells you what the effector cell is. It's the histiocyte, too many histiocytes, and it's often associated with massive lymph adenopathy. So the combination of biopsy-proven histiocytosis in the brain, the sinus, the lid, or the orbit, plus cervical or other lymphadenopathy is the diagnostic presentation of the Rosai-Dorfman syndrome, a form of pathologic histiocytosis. The effector cell is the histiocyte, and so it is a histiocytic proliferative disorder. The way it comes to us is the histiocytes can go into your orbit, your eyelid, or your brain, and so the combination of bilateral orbital infiltrative disease, lid infiltration, or brain infiltration in a patient who has lymphadenopathy, you got to do a biopsy. The biopsy is to look for the distinctive finding of the histiocyte. And so on immunohistochemistry, we have markers for the histiocyte, and one of the pathologic features is emperipolysis, which means the lymphocyte is inside of the histiocyte. It, it digested the lymphocyte, so it's eating itself. And so the treatments for Rosai Dorfman are surgical debulking, but you can use steroids, radiation, other things, but there's no proven standard of care for this, and sometimes it just goes away by itself. Because there's no established standard of care, we, we gen generally treat empirically. So how does it show up? Proptosis, orbital inflammation, vision loss, ophthalmoplegia, lid infiltration, massive lymphadenopathy on imaging studies, biopsy shows histiocytosis, and emperopolysis, the digestion of the lymphocyte by the histocyte. Treatment, no standard of care, but surgery, radiation, steroids, the usual treatments empirically.